Okay, we seem to be recording. My name is Alan Farmer. I have a review of the Boflex C6, which is the same as a Schwinn IC4 that has had 35,000 views on YouTube as of right now. And somebody on my Alan Farner normal channel, A-L-A-N space F-A-H-R-N-E-R, -E normal channel said, hey, can you do something about the console? So that's what I'm going to do now. And what I'm going to do is try to get this aimed so that you can see the console straight up, but not too close. So you can see the whole thing. Let's see. How's that? Is that pretty good? Can we go a little higher? Whoops. Let's, uh, there we go. I want you to see the buttons too. Hopefully that's good enough. You can zoom in as you need to. So what's going to happen is by climbing on the bike, the console will turn on. There you go. As you can see, the console will turn on. And, oops, I can't get my second thing clipped in. I'm not going to go ahead and, and hook the uh, Bluetooth uh, heart rate monitor to it. If I did, the pulse would be down here, so I don't have that hooked to it. But you can see, ordinary console. One of the things that people don't like, and, and I don't blame them, is it's nice how you can see digitally what each one of these are, different values here. The RPM, people want to know, where do I get our RPM? It's not digital. See up top here? Let me go a little faster. You can see the RPMs going up here. So that's where the RPM is. Okay, so this gives you an idea. You can see time, calories, speed, distance, level. And the level is controlled by the little knobby thing. You can see it goes up, gets harder, goes down, gets easier. There you go. I don't know why it's saying Pulse of 66, but if I had the Pulse thing attached to it, and I would attach to it by pressing this button here, it would cause it to attach. Okay. You get on the bike and it starts and you're like, wait, but I want to set something. So the way you do that is, here I'm pressing the screen again to try to get so I can see it too. Hold this reset button down. And then what you're going to see is if you do that, you can go through what settings you want to set. Okay, so you can say, look, I want to do something. And this is what I usually do. I want to do time. You can leave it like that. You obviously can go up or down. See, you can go up or down. And I usually do time. And you got blinking on time, just start pedaling. You start pedaling, there you go. Um, if you want to reset it again, I've never done the calories one. But let's say we want to go for 300 calories. So, or up or down again. So let's say I want to go for 250 calories. Again, just start pedaling. And that will be your goal. So, not much else to say. Oh, it looks like I've got 249 calories to go. It's interesting that's counting down the time too. Maybe it's a combination in that case. That gives an idea of what the council looks like, how it works. Uh, I'm perfectly satisfied with it. Um, in general, what you're going to end up doing if you really want to get into using the bike other than getting a, a regular aerobic is you're going to go for something like full gas or peloton like if you like the spin classes sadly i don't think the peloton app does the uh actually can sync with the bike on um on android yet you can on ios iphone ipad and that's not on uh bowflex that's actually peloton's choice but you're going to get one of those other Ruby, Full Gas, Peloton, you know, one of those other apps, and you're going to use that to track it. Uh, what's another one? Zwift is really nice, too. So either way, that's it. I'm going to stop recording. Have a great one. Interested in your comments.